My name is Riyad Ali. Um, I'm in the senior dental hygiene class at Howard University. Um, and one of the, the things that impressed me most about dental hygiene school was uh, how rigorous the curriculum was. It's, it's really all consuming in your life. Uh, it's your full time job, and before you start, you have to make sure you have time uh, to devote completely to this. Uh, one of the most re rewarding things I found in dental hygiene school was the relationships you form, especially with your classmates. They become like your family. You spend eight to ten hours a day with them, and uh, the camaraderie is really unparalleled. Uh, and additionally, the uh, experiences, experiences you have with the patients are very rewarding because you're helping people and they're genuinely appreciative of our efforts and our concerns. And uh, that's, those are my favorite things about dental hygiene school and the dental hygiene career. And this is my classmate, Ms. Alvarez. I'm Emily, and I'm also senior dental hygienist here at Howard University. And um, what I find most rewarding about the hygiene program is that the interaction with patients, the fact that you can educate them on how to improve their health orally and systemically, and how um, you can just see the improvement on how their life changes and how their behaviors change as well, just like, you know, with your, that one visit. So that's what I really like about the whole patient program. And then this is Ms. Davidson. Hi, my name is Geneva Davidson, and I'm also a senior dental hygiene student at Howard. And what my plans after I graduate is to provide oral health for the community and continue like my continuing education in the surrounding area. And this is my classmate. Hi, my Kimberly. name is Kimberly. Um, just to piggyback on what Ms. Davis was saying about um, oral health care and how the importance of it. You have people that have never been to the dentist that you get to meet, especially being in Howard, close to Georgia Avenue, you get people who have decayed, missing, or fill teeth, um, who don't really know the proper way to brush. And I think mostly what I want to focus on once I finish um, this program in May is to get my bachelor in dental hygiene from the University of Maryland. And also I wanted to pursue a master's. There's something that's new that's called advanced hygiene practitioner. And you'll get to do, as, a, as an practitioner, you'll get to do a lot of things that um, most hygienists will not be able to do because they're not licensed. You will get to uh, do slight fillings, um, maybe extractions in the anterior teeth in the front. So it's just a way to continue your education um, without actually having to go to dental school because I like the freedom of being able to be a hygienist without having to have all the responsibility of being a dentist. How long